morning. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving and welcome to my channel. This is Shadow. And then that's Sheba and sure is in her crate. So this video is going to be about my first vendor event and uh, the pros and cons and what I learned. And hopefully I can help give you guys some tips if you ever have your first vendor event. Um, okay, so let's start with the don'ts. And I had to make a list. So don't be scared. For this event, I was I was a little bit scared and I was like really nervous because although I'm a very bubbly, happy person, I'm not aggressive when it comes to my when it comes to my business and I need to learn to be aggressive enough but not too aggressive to scare off a customer. So I was, hi, how are you doing? And if they walked away, it was just like, okay, you know, I'll get the next customer. So you you can't be scared, you know, you you got to make conversation. I had this one lady, um, we talked for maybe five, 10 minutes and uh, she came back cause it was a two day event. She came back the next day and made a purchase. So, you know, you just at least let them remember you, let them know who you are. Next is don't be rude and, um, don't get irritated. So when the, um, the event was a Harry Potter event. So obviously there were a lot of kids there, kids with their parents, little kids, you know, teenagers and stuff. Um, you have to be extra nice. Um, I got, it's kind of weird. So when uh, I laid out my table and everything's really neat, everything's in order, you know, it's easy to see. I had kids come up without their parents and they were picking up stuff and putting down stuff and putting stuff in the wrong place. And, you know, one kid knocked some stuff off the table and you can't let that aggression show because I was upset. I was like, oh my God, you know, where is your mom? Where is your dad? Why are you over here? You don't have any money, so go away. But... I had one kid, I was just, you know, like all the kids, I was just nice and then um, super polite. And then their grandpa came back and he gave me his card and was like, he wants X, Y, and Z. So you just got to have, depending on your event, you have to have a lot of patience. And, you know, luckily I like kids and I have a lot of patience. I just normally don't have patience with other people's kids. But you just really got to have a lot of patience. Um, don't be antisocial. Um, one of the first things I learned is do not stand behind your table. You want to be in front of your table. You want to talk to people. You want to engage with people. You want to let people know who you are. You want to let them know about your product. You know, hey, how you doing? My name's Sheila. Everything here is handmade. You, you know, it, you don't want to, you don't want it to feel like they have to buy. You, they don't want to feel like they have to buy. They want to, you know, it's an event. It's a family event. They want to feel like, in a sense, family. You know, they just want to, everybody wants to be comfortable. Now the do. Again, know your event. So um, I make resin pieces. So when I was making everything for my event, I was making stuff for kids and adults, not thinking that mainly kids are going to buy this stuff. So a lot of pieces got wasted because, you know, most people wanted, um, most of the kids wanted certain pieces and most adults, even though, you know, if you like Harry Potter, they're there for their kid. And, you know, on the occasion, I'll get the group of adults or I'll get the group of teenagers that'll come buy something because, you know, there are no kids. So I know that if I ever do an event like this again, I need to make more kid friendly things, which was mainly um, I had the time turner necklaces. I had owl necklaces. I had uh, skull necklaces and coasters that glow in the dark. And um, the adults really like the shot glasses. So you really got to know your event again. Be confident. Even if somebody doesn't buy from you, you still have to keep that confidence. You have to keep that smile on your face. You know, you just, you can't look upset. Um, the first day I did, I did pretty good. I met my goal on um, the second day, my goal. And um, I broke even, but the second day I got really discouraged because even though it was still the Harry Potter event going on, there was an additional, the vendors there because downtown in Fayetteville, they have vendors that come out on Saturday. And I didn't know that. I didn't know that the location where they had us at was also with the other vendors. So, you know, I got pretty discouraged because there was a lady next to me. She was making um, butterscotch, the soda and selling all these Harry Potter drinks. And she was getting really good sales. And then there was another lady to the side of me and she was doing um, the temporary tattoos that are metallic and glitter and stuff. And, you know, but you you can't get you cannot get discouraged. You have to keep your confidence up because people are gonna see that. And if you just look sad or upset, they're probably they're just gonna want to walk away. Um, next, take 
take, 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 take all forms of payment. So if you don't know, I am active duty military. The event was a Friday and Saturday, which was last weekend. I had CQ Friday. So I had to pull my CQ shift. Then I had to leave halfway through my shift, go to the event, finish my CQ shift at 630. And then I had to be downtown by 10. So I had not slept. I had been up for over 24 hours. And that event on Saturday Saturday didn't end until about 4 or 5 o'clock. But um, again, um, I didn't have time to go to the bank because I don't like carrying cash with me. So I didn't go earlier that week, but I should have. Um, I lost a lot of sales because I did not take cash. You know, um, the first day alone, I lost about $50 worth of sales. And the second day, I lost about $100 worth of sales. But towards the end of the event, I was telling people, I was like, I can take cash, but I just can't give you change. So um, I had this one gentleman, his total was twenty four fifty five. He just gave me $25. So if it comes out close enough, and you know, if you have a kid that really wants it, and he was buying stuff for his wife, he was buying her coasters and paperweights and um, hairpins. So again, just take all forms of cash because I didn't realize how much money I was losing. So take all forms of cash. Um, Fayetteville is a military town. If you can afford to do discounts, do discounts. Um, I could afford to do discounts, so but I did very small discounts. I did 15% um, for active duty military, EMTs, firefighter, policemen. And then if you were a spouse, you got a 10% discount. And even without the discount, a lot of people still, you know, my product, I presented it so well that even without the discount, they still want it to buy. But only, only, only do the discount um, if you can't afford it. When I looked at my sales, all my discounts in total, I lost $27, which isn't bad because I made my goal. But if I hadn't have done that, I would have cleared over $400. But for my first event, I cleared... 385 and then when you take out my discount and taxes because I did charge tax because my business I have to pay taxes for my business um I made about 330 so I still did good I did really good for my first event so um for any other events I most likely will continue to do discounts and you know again you learn and grow at every event um network 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 um, I networked with a teacher and me and her have been corresponding back and forth because I made these really cool jigsaw pieces and they were just regular old jigsaw pieces and I made them clear and then I sold it with a paint kit and she thought that was really cool. She was an elementary school teacher and she, um, me and her have been emailing back and forth because she wants me to give a class on, um, how to make resin pieces or at least, you know, just do, do an activity with, uh, her class. So, I thought that was pretty cool. And then I met um, with another teacher. She was an art teacher, I think, for elementary school and middle school. She bought all of my jigsaw pieces, and um, she bought a bunch of shot glasses. And she just networked. You just have to network, and you got to know your customers. Um, the lady who was doing the, the, the temporary tattoos and stuff, she was networking for me. So even though our tables were side by side, she had bought, she bought for me the first day. And then the second day, I had... Um, I had different things. So the first day I had stuff. And then the second day I had additional stuff to what I had. She bought for me both days. And whenever she bought for me, she took my business card and she took what she bought for me and she put it on her table. And after somebody got a temporary tattoo, she would send them to my table. So in return, um, whenever somebody would, they had a kid or if they bought, bought for me, even if they didn't buy for me, I'd be like, well, you know, she's doing temporary tattoos and her tattoos were only $5. Um, for the small, you know, and then the big ones were like 10, which is still good. Kids love temporary tattoos. Um, there was a guy behind me. It was also his first vendor event. Him and I connected because we were learning from each other. He had never did it before, and I had never did it before. And you just, you got to network, you got to learn. But in the end, I really enjoyed it, and I am so excited for my next event. Um, also, make sure you have... Um, a sign or something. So the first day, because I was scrambling, because I literally, I had a week to get ready for this event. I was scrambling so hard for the first day that I didn't even have a sign that said like what my name was. It just, but my products were so 
interesting. You know, I had, it was at night. My products were glowing in the dark. People just really wanted to see what I had. But the second day I had a sign and everything. So if you don't take anything from this video, just know your event, be confident and network. Those are the biggest things that I can say. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for our next video. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. This is this is going to be a big channel one day, and I want to make sure that you were here for the ride. I'm trying to post my next video, hopefully on Monday. I'm going to try to do my post on Mondays and Thursdays is what I'm going for. Thanks again.